welcome to Optima Health and Vitality After 50. My name is Trisha O'Hara. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So today I would like to show you some simple exercises on how you can improve your balance. So previously I'd done a video on the importance of balance and I had a few subscribers reach out and ask if I could show some simple exercises, which is what I'm going to do today. But first I want to recap and ex uh, again, explain why balance is so important. So as we get older, one of the leading causes of death for people over the age of 65 is injury sustained from falling. So they fall, perhaps they get a head injury and the trauma they sustain uh, results in death. So the way that we can uh, prevent that is by strengthening not only the muscles of the body, but also increasing our proprioception and improving our balance. Now, having better balance not only uh, prevents injury and falling, but it also gives us a greater sense of independence and to be able to go and do what we want on a daily basis, which is, I think, what anyone wants as they get older. So. Um, to talk about balance, we actually, the balance starts to decrease around our fifties and they've actually done studies starting as early uh, as, um, as thirties. They worked, they did a study on a group of people in their thirties and forties doing the one leg, uh, balance test. And the people in their thirties and forties could hold, uh, the one leg balance for about a minute or more. And the next group in their 50s, the number dropped to about 40, 45 seconds. Uh, then when they went to the group of the people in their 60s, that number dropped to about 20 seconds. And by the time they got to the people in their 70s, that number dropped to about 10 seconds. And they actually kind of link longevity with balance, which I guess kind of makes sense because if you have better balance and um, your risk of falling or um, getting life-threatening injuries probably decreases. So I'm 57, so I think I'm doing pretty good now because I think I'm now balanced about two minutes. <laughs> Let me see how long I can hold this. So with balance, uh, with balance, you need three things. You need your vision. So for me to be able to see my surroundings right now, um, you need the vestibular system, your inner ear. You know what's really funny is as I'm doing this video because I think you need to concentrate also. So normally I don't have a problem with my balance, but as I'm shooting this video and trying to balance at the same time, it's a lot harder. So you need the vestibular system, your inner ear to sense uh, the positioning of your body. And then also uh, the, your proprioception, your body's awareness in space. So you take one of those away. Like if I all of a sudden take away my vision, this is a lot harder actually. If I stop talking, it's easier. But um, anyway, so you need those three things for balance. And the way that you can um, improve that is by doing exercises uh, to work on your balance. Now, also with balance, I must mention too that you it's really important to make sure that you strengthen the muscles in your body because what also helps with balance is your core. And I'm not talking about your abdominals. I mean, that's part of the core, but the core is, is your whole torso. So it's your back, like your lower back, the um, quadratus lumborum, the erectors, but it's also your hips, it's your glutes, and also the muscles of the pelvic floor. So it's all this muscle. It's the muscles that support the spine, and that helps with mobility and stability in the body. So when you think about wanting to improve your balance, you're also going to want to think about doing exercises to strengthen your whole core, which I'm going to do another video on that one. <laughs> but for today, I'm just going to show you some simple exercises on how you can improve your balance, your proprioception. Okay. Oh, and do you notice like when you see old people walking, do you notice how they like shuffle? They shuffle because they're afraid to like actually take the full step and uh, you know, they're afraid of falling. So again, we're going to focus on improving your balance. So the first thing is I'm going to start with easy to more advanced. So if you have no balance at all, you can take a chair, like I can take my chair here and you can just hold on to it and just balance on one leg. If you don't need the chair, then you can just balance on one leg like this. And you can just start by um, doing it for time. So you could do it for like 10 seconds and work your way up to 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Now, like I said, remember, uh, for balance, you need 
um, your vision as well. So if I take away my balance or my vision, this is going to be a lot harder. I'm going to stop talking and it'll be easier, but. So it's much easier if I'm not talking the minute I start talking, cause I got to concentrate on talking also. <laughs> so you can make it more challenging by closing your eyes, or you can also make it more challenging by holding weights. Okay. You can hold the weights out to your side, however you want. Okay. Um, that's going to engage involve using your core a little bit more. So you can just start like something like this. Now I'm on a stable surface right now, but you can go on an unstable surface. So if you're like at a gym that maybe has Dyna discs or Eric's pads or Bosu ball that have dome ball, um, that's going to make it a lot more challenging because now you're going to really, it's going to, um, really focus on increasing your proprioception when the, um, the surface is unstable, but right now I'm just on the ground. So again, you can just start, you know, like I said, if you need to hold on to a chair. Also, um, a good way to practice like a couple of my clients do is they, uh, practice, um, stretching. Okay. So, and even me, like when I stretch, I just hold the stretch for a couple minutes, each stretch on one leg, um, that, or I have some clients that just brush your teeth, uh, on one leg. So you can kind of incorporate it into your daily stuff, but anyway, so, that again, that's just some progression on the balance. Now, I think that this is a good one also. It's called the quadruped bird dog. And it's like this, you get on all fours. Mm -hmm. Quadruped meaning that you're on all fours. So you want your uh, hands under your shoulders, your, um, your knees under your hips. And what you do is now you're going to extend, uh, oh, sorry, also you want a neutral spine. So you don't want to be curving your, your um, back. So my spine is neutral. I'm pulling my belly button in and you can just extend, okay? And you can hold it five seconds, 10 seconds, however long, but that's really going to also focus on working the core and that's gonna work on your balance, okay? You can just go back and forth um, let's go ahead and flex that feet. Uh, I know some people like to point, but because I do rehabilitation and body work, I notice a lot of people, um, have chronically tight hamstrings and calves. So it makes it easier if you, uh, flex your foot instead of pointing it. So that's another one that you can do also. Now you could do that on an unstable surface. You could do that like on a BOSU ball and it'll be a lot more challenging. But those are a couple exercises that you can do just real basic to start with balance. Um, again, like I said, the first one, you can just start with uh, just whole assisted if you need to, then unassisted, you could start for 10 seconds and you can go up to 20 seconds, 30 seconds. You can do it with your eyes closed. You can do it with weights. You can do it with uh, uh, on an unstable surface, but that will really help to um, increase your proprioception. And also you want to make sure that you really strengthen the muscles in your body so that you're a lot stronger, especially the core, because that will help stabilize the spine, which will help with mobility and stability. So I hope you found those uh, few exercises uh, helpful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I could get this video out to more people and please leave a comment below. Um, to let me know if you like the video or if there's other things you'd like to um, talk about, like me to talk about. So I hope you guys go out and have a great day. And I hope that uh, you continue to live a long, healthy life as well. And thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.